be like Eclipse and do some G shit. Yo, what's up, y'all? I made a bunch of videos showing how to get into the storages on Cayo Perico Heist. Um, but I made like one video for every storage and uh, I thought maybe I should just make a video of all the four storages and put them all in one video. So that's what we're gonna do here. So let's first start the heist. We'll start with the north storage. So we're gonna kill those two guards over here first. And then you make your way over to this, uh, this pillar thing. And you have to shoot it like slightly in the grass if you use a shotgun. But if you got like an AR just shoot at the bottom of it then you have to move it over here like put it at the same spot as me it has to be in the in the right spot otherwise it won't work so to be able to move it you have to shoot it and after that you're gonna put it right here and you're gonna stand over here and you're gonna look down and you step on it and when you step on a thing you press jump as you can see I almost went through already like if you pay attention you can also see I, st I don't step in the middle of it, I step on the side of the thing, otherwise you push it, up, push it away. So this was in slow motion, I will put it in normal speed. It might take you some tries, but once you get it, it'll get uh, easier. And just to be clear, you have to be in first person, so don't forget that. Now let's move to the west storage. Felipe le dio las llaves. No. Me las tenía que dar. Lo vi hace poco. Sí. Seguro se lo olvidó ese pendejo. I'm gonna get the cash from the safe real quick and then uh, I'll show you how to get into the west storage. So for the west storage you also have to be in first person and you have to jump down right here. So you jump down and after this you make sure you don't sprint. So don't press the sprint button at all, just walk and make your way over here. Then you go over here and you go stand in this corner and look in the same direction as me. Now you uh, hold down L3 and then press jump and you'll start to spin like I will right now. And then when you're facing a wall like this, you'll hold L3 forward to walk forward, to walk through the wall. As you can see I almost went through. Uh, also some people pointed out I should say left stick, <laughs> I already forgot. but. Uh, yeah, this goes for Xbox too, the, um, I mean the left stick. So you stand in this corner right here, you hold the left stick down, and then you press jump and you'll start to spin, and then you hold the left stick up to walk forward, and you'll go through the wall. On PC, that will be standing in the corner and holding S and jump, and then press W to walk forward. Of all the storages, West is probably easiest to do. Once you get that one, it gets really easy to do. So let's move to South. For South, you also have to jump down here. And after that, also make sure you don't sprint. Just walk and make your way over here where I'm going right now. I left that guard and the camera there, so I'm gonna take those out. You can still shoot things, just make sure you don't sprint, don't sprint at all. But make your way over to this bench, go in front of the bench and look down and then step on it. And you should look through the wall, like that. Then go stand into this corner next to the bench. Now look down and hold the left stick to the left and press jump and then hold the left stick forward to walk forward. Uh, sometimes it helps to hold the right stick to the right after that. As you can see, I'm almost going through right now. This is a slow motion. Uh, on PC, it would be looking down next to the bench. Then hold A and press jump and then press W to walk forward. So just keep in mind, this one is way harder to do than the other ones. Um, 
I have three different ways of getting in here. I'll I'll post the other ones, uh, make videos of, with alternate ways of getting into the storage as well. So subscribe if you wanna see those. But yeah, this one is way harder though. Sometimes it will also help to spam the jump button once you're looking through the wall, like at this moment. So I'll just put it in normal speed now and uh, show you how, uh, how I'll get through. Okay, so now all that's left is the basement and then we went into all the rooms solo. So now let's go to the basement. For the basement you gotta have the keys picked up. So you gotta have some guards killed. You need the keys. I killed them before and picked them up so you need to open this gate right here. So after that you also need to uh, hack this door right here. These two doors need to be open if you want to glitch into the basement solo. So let's hack this door. Okay, now make sure to hide your weapon. So hide your weapon and go in uh, third person and go into your phone to settings and turn quick launch on Snapmatic on. It has to be on. Also it will help if you put your controls in uh, settings, if you go to controls and you put a uh, third person control type on FPS standard 2. This way you will sprint with R1 instead of X so you can press the buttons on your phone while still running or sprinting. But you can do this glitch by just walking though but uh, changing the setting will make it faster though. But yeah anyway, you have to go uh, right here where I'm going. So I'll show it in slow motion first. So you go stand right here, and you look at that box over there, and then you take cover. And while your character is like moving there to get into cover, you press up twice on the direction pad, and it will open the camera on your phone. So the camera will close again automatically. And after that, in, you need to hold the left stick forward, and then press the jump button like you normally would to get on the crate so then your character should get up like this like when he's getting up you press direction pad up twice again to open the camera again so it will open the camera again but now you have to close it yourself though so you close the camera by pressing circle and now you have to move with the direction pad like down and to the left while running to open the camera again within two seconds if you do it too slow and you're not on time within two seconds, uh, it will teleport you, but you won't end up in the in the basement because we're not in the right position yet. But if it does teleport you, if you're too slow, at least you know you're doing a glitch right. But uh, so you just keep opening and closing your camera while running, and you have to go to a certain spot that we're going. So as you can see, I'm just uh, closing the camera, then opening it again with X within two seconds while running but I messed up here and ended up in the water but as you can see I get teleported though but not into the basement because I was not in the right position so I'll show you where to go right now in normal speed while doing this uh, glitch So as you can see I'm going through the two gates, that's why you need to open this one with the keys and the other one with, uh, with the hack. But uh, yeah, so while doing this glitch you make your way over here. You go right into this corner and then close the camera but not your phone, just close the camera while standing here. And you'll get teleported into the basement. So my bag is already full, so I just went here to show you how nice of me. So yeah, that's how to get into any storage. Uh, for some storages, there is uh, multiple ways to get in there though. I'll make a video about that as well. So make sure to uh, subscribe. And I hope this video helped you out.
Nice be a bad boy. Shout out to my homeboy Eclipse for making the dopest GTA videos on the planet. Follow, subscribe, like, comment, all that shit. Eclipse.